On a September day, the economy of the United Kingdom, the sixth largest in the world, completely collapsed. Currently, the country is on the brink of a sinister crisis. How did this happen? Just 15 years ago, the United Kingdom was one of the strongest economies in the world. However, now the country is facing a severe economic crisis, with double debts, imminent blackouts, currency depreciation, and the possibility of permanent closure of three-quarters of British pubs. Faced with this scenario, the government is preparing for possible public unrest caused by this economic crisis. The catalyst for all of this was the announcement by the new government of the United Kingdom that it would borrow even more, which led the market into uncontrolled chaos. This happened amidst speculations that the global economy was entering a historic recession, with major banks like Deutsche Bank and Morgan Stanley also rumored to be on the verge of collapse. The United Kingdom is certainly feeling the consequences of this recession, with inflation rates above 10% this year, the highest in over 40 years. Furthermore, the United Kingdom is the only G7 country that has not yet economically recovered from the pandemic. With the government accumulating more and more debt, people have finally lost all confidence that the United Kingdom would be able to repay its debts, which led the pound sterling to reach its lowest value against the dollar. This drastic drop resulted in a 5% loss of the total savings of British citizens in a single day. Additionally, the cost of living has increased, along with the energy crisis and the war with Russia. Brexit, constant leadership changes, rising crime rates, exorbitant property prices, and massive debts resulting from the virus have made the situation even worse. So how could this catastrophe happen? To understand what lies ahead for the United Kingdom, we need to analyze what has been happening in the country over the past decade. In 2007, everything seemed perfect for the future of the United Kingdom, with predictions of stable GDP growth around 3% per year and a pound worth $2. However, the financial crisis of 2008 changed everything, and the economy of the United Kingdom went into decline. It took five years for the country to recover, and during that period, public debt more than doubled. Austerity measures were implemented, with significant cuts in public services and tax increases. Although these measures seemed to improve the economy, debt levels were still out of control, and inflation began to rise, increasing the cost of living. Additionally, property ownership became increasingly unaffordable for the middle class due to the influx of migrants and oligarchs buying high-end residences. All of this led to general dissatisfaction among the British people, who lost confidence in the government. Over time, this dissatisfaction led to Brexit and major political changes in the country. However, the consequences of Brexit and the economic measures taken after leaving the European Union have generated volatility and uncertainty for the United Kingdom's economy. The pandemic further exacerbated the country's economic problems, leading to an unprecedented drop in GDP. The restrictions implemented to contain the spread of the virus resulted in business closures and a massive government bailout to sustain the economy. However, the government's increasing spending and lack of investor confidence put the country in a precarious situation. Additionally, the energy crisis and the war in Ukraine have affected the United Kingdom's energy supply, leading to significant increases in energy bills for the population. The situation is so dire that many British pubs are predicting permanent closure. The government has tried to implement measures to reverse the situation, such as tax cuts, but these measures have not been well received by the public. Trust in the government is shaken, and the country's economy is on the brink of collapse. The United Kingdom's situation reflects a broader economic crisis affecting the entire world. The combination of factors such as the pandemic, the war in Ukraine, the collapse of major banks, and the crisis in China is leading to a global recession. In this context, billionaires, hostile governments, and investment firms are ready to take advantage of the situation and gain economic advantages. While the United Kingdom faces a devastating economic crisis, it is important to recognize that the current political and economic system is no longer sufficient to maintain stability and prosperity. It is necessary to rethink and seek more comprehensive solutions to strengthen Western civilization. As the economic crisis deepens, public services in the United Kingdom are under enormous pressure, while the workforce demonstrates a willingness to strike in large numbers. The country is facing a challenging situation, and swift action is needed to prevent further deterioration. However, the United Kingdom's economic crisis is not an isolated case. In fact, it is part of a broader recession occurring not only in the United Kingdom but worldwide. The disruptions caused by the pandemic, the war in Ukraine, the collapse of major banks, 
and the crisis in China are just some of the factors contributing to this global recession. As countries struggle to deal with economic and political challenges, the powerful take advantage of the situation for their own benefit. The ruling class, hostile governments, and investment firms are ready to exploit this crisis and consolidate their economic dominance. The ruined economy of the United Kingdom becomes fertile ground for cheap investments and a more easily exploitable population. The elites are eager to take control while inequality increases and living conditions deteriorate for the majority of people. It is a grim scenario, and the true extent of the economic damage will only become evident when the house of cards collapses. The current economic crisis exposes the flaws of the neoliberal system and the need to rethink our political and economic trajectory. In order to strengthen Western civilization and preserve what made the United Kingdom an example of excellence, we must go beyond an increasingly unequal economic system. The current crisis requires more comprehensive solutions and a commitment to social justice, sustainability, and the well-being of all. The United Kingdom is in the midst of an economic storm, but this crisis is not unique to the country. It is just a symptom of a larger global problem. We need to recognize the severity of the situation and seek transformative solutions that can restore stability and ensure a more prosperous future for all. The time to act is now, before it is too late.